So here is part five of learning how to be balanced in your masculine and feminine energy. Now, when Jesus Christ came here onto the earth, Jesus Christ was balanced in his energy. Jesus Christ is a man, but he was balanced in his masculine and his feminine energies. We saw him several times. We saw the first act he did, you know, when he was writing on the ground, and then these people appeared saying they've caught Mary Magdalene in the act and were calling for judgment. And he says, Release her. Forgive her. Release her. Anybody that has not sinned should be the first to throw the stone, and they all run away. Forgiveness. Hmm? You know, there is a big problem in Christianity today. You know, it's, it's shocking and it's surprising that when Jesus Christ came here onto the earth, he made us understand. He even collapsed all the Ten Commandments into just two. That is, love, your, love the Lord your God with all your heart. The second one is love your neighbor as yourself. Finish. And it's very sad that so many years, over 2,000 years since he came to hand down, hand over this to us, to allow the human community, the human society to be a better place, to be led, to be ruled with love. 2024, we are still the church of God, church of Christ. The, the, the church is still struggling to understand this basic concept and principle he left here for us, that it is love. The church is still struggling. You know, and that is happening because a lot of the Christianity people are practicing is religious Christianity. Religious Christianity doesn't understand the concept of forgiveness. It doesn't understand it. His first act, Mary Magdalene, he says, Leave her. If you've not seen before, be the first to throw the stone. They all run away. They caught her in the act, but they all ran away. Why? Because even them, even they, they were sinners. So when it comes to operating in this frequency of love, operating in this place of love, connecting your masculine and feminine side, you see, human beings have to be led with love. You see, otherwise, that, that commandment, love your neighbor as yourself, it will never happen. If you don't know how to love yourself, you will never know how to love your neighbor. If you don't know how to love yourself, you will never know how to treat your neighbor. And, there's, and if you take a typical example, in, even in Ghana, on Sunday, a lot of the churches are filled up. And... Almost 80% of the people, you find them in church. A lot of everybody is in church. You know, Ascension Day, everybody is wearing white outside and all that. And then you ask yourself, which people are committing these evil and wicked things against other people? They are, they are there in the church. You find them sitting there in the church. Why? Because we are still practicing religious Christianity. You know, where we, but we are supposed to leave that religious Christianity and decide to truly have a personal, truthful confession and relationship with him. Truthful. <laughs> if you receive him truthfully in your heart, as your Lord and personal Savior, love is going to be there. Love will be there. The Holy Spirit will be there and love will be there. You know, And when the Holy Spirit is there, there is no situation, there is no... There's no situation you are in that you can never come out when it comes to forgiving people who have hurt you in the past, people who traumatized you in the past, people who hurt you intentionally in the past. It will be easier to forgive them. It will be, it will be easier to release them because you have truthfully decided to receive him as your Lord and personal Savior in your heart. In truth, you, you have decided to do it. You know? And this is why the, the, we are having issues on, on this planet. You see, there is something unique about this frequency of love. When you switch it on, 
you can't switch it off. But every child entering into this earth had it. But how people were raised, you face it, you face that. People are mocking you in school when you are growing up. People are mocking at you in the secondary school or university. People are always doing bad things to you. So you, what? You, you, you decided to shut down your love inside and then go rogue. You became uh, like a robot, titanium. You can switch that side back on because you need it. Your creative side, your creative abilities, you know, to be able to, to be able to, to allow yourself to have God, God can express his, himself, his, his glory, his power, his authority, his divinity through you. For God to express his divinity through you, I don't know how you're going to do with that. I don't know how you're going to achieve and accomplish that without connecting, without activating, without balancing your masculine and feminine energy. I don't know how you're going to do that. You need, you need a feminine side. You have to be balanced, but you need your feminine side. Everybody needs your feminine side. Everybody has to be creative. Everybody has to express who they are through the gift God has put inside of you. But our lack of understanding of being able to forgive, it starts from forgiveness. And that forgiveness does not even start from outsiders. It starts from you, forgive, being able to forgive yourself. If you can't forgive yourself, I'm telling you, nothing on this planet will allow you to forgive an outsider. Because even you yourself, you don't know how to treat yourself. You don't know how to forgive yourself. How, how are you going to transfer that to another person? Hmm? So if you look closely, a lot of the people who are hurting people all over, if you go deep down to their childhood, there is something they did. And they are, they are, um, this, there's guilt, you know. One of the ways the devil destroys people is through guilt. He will hold you. He will hold you to that thing. So because that guilt is always there, you are not free, you are not settled, it's like you are in bondage. I'm that's what I'm coming here to tell you. Jesus was connected to his masculine side and his feminine side. You saw, and the, the teaching and concept about forgiveness. A lot of people have not understood it. 2,000 years down the line. A lot of people have not, still not understood what Jesus Christ was trying to tell people. He says what? When your, your enemy f is doing something against you, forgive them 70 times, 7 times. Forgive them. 70, is it say 70 times 77? I'm sure. He says forgive. The people are struggling. And there, when he was on the earth, somebody asked him that, why did, why did Moses give us these laws? Because these laws were given to us by Moses. And what Jesus told them was that Moses gave these laws to your forefathers because of what? Their hardened hearts. That's why he gave them this. They asked him, why did Moses give our forefathers these laws to follow? And Jesus Christ told that person, Moses gave these laws to your ancestors, your forefathers, because of their hardened hearts. But now I am telling you, to forgive, love. This is why the world is suffering. This is why the world is in chaos. And this is why things are messing up everywhere. Families are some way messed up, confusion everywhere. Everybody is fighting somebody. Everybody is envious. If there is love in your heart, you will never envy anybody. Because it's useless. It starts from the heart. Forgiving yourself and forgiving people who have even intentionally sat down and planned wickedness against you. Hmm? And this, this is the acid test of anybody that says, I'm a true believer, I'm a follower of Jesus. Because the reason why you are in church is because somebody decided to forgive you even when before, before you were even born. Hmm? It's sad. You see a lot of people praying to God for blessings. But that same person, you are holding people who offended you 20 years, 30 years, 50 years ago. You are still holding on to their sins. You don't want to release it. When you listen to the Lord's prayer, it says what? Forgive us as we have first of all forgiven those who have sinned against us. If you don't release those who have sinned against you first, the forgiveness from God will not come. What the next part? Which is part? This is part 6. 